Hello, Namaste all. Hope you are all good. I am again with the School Readiness Program, First Language English, Bridge Course, Class 8. Today we are going to look into the components, assignment check of last times, the second session. And also we are going to take up adverbs, articles, prepositions and writer of the day. Shall we move into yes? Let us check into the assignments, home assignments given to you in the last session. Looking at the picture you need to say what is he doing? You could guess the answer is there in red, he is playing. What is he doing? He is sleeping. What are they doing? They are talking. What is he doing? He is riding bicycle. Fine. We had also another assignment about how to wrap a gift and here are the verbs and the phrases. Gather gift wrapping paper, cut the right amount of wrapping paper, spread the wrapping paper, keep the gift in the middle, fold the wrapping paper all over the gift, paste the edges, fix a bow and a name card. Hope you have made a note of it. Yes, we also had some antonyms dirty, clean, full, empty, good, bad, pull, push. So, these were the assignments. I hope even though if you have forgotten, these things would make you remember again. Let us go into the today's components and here we are going to listen to a story and it is story time. Yes children, the story is all about the slave and the lion. Let us listen to the story. A master treated his slave cruelly. So the slave escaped secretly. The whole night he slept quietly in a cave. He saw a lion crying loudly. A sharp thorn had pierced deeply in the lion's paw. The master ordered rudely that the slave must be put as food for lion. The lion entered to eat the slave. As the crowd watched them seriously, the crowd watched the lion gently licking the slave's foot. The both hugged each other happily while the crowd watched them surprisingly. The master inquired them softly about their friendship. The master blessed them wholeheartedly. The slave waved gracefully and walked away with the lion. Yes children, we just read this story about uh, the slave and the lion and we, there were many actions in this particular story and we also saw how the action happened. Let us once again just look at how the actions happened and here are the actions and how they happened how an action happens. Treat, how was this done? Treat cruelly. Escape secretly. Sleep quietly. Crying loudly. Pierce deeply. Pull smoothly. Live happily. Punish severely, order rudely, watch seriously, licking gently, hug happily, inquire softly, bless wholeheartedly. This is how action words are exposed. And here, 
how action words are exposed or how they happen are revealed what are these words then the words that qualifies an action word let's just see the word that modifies a verb or an adjective is an adverb yes they are adverb let's see something more about adverb adverbs tell us how an action takes place let's see here is a king and let's see what are his actions and how the actions happen or how the actions take place the king speaks firmly he walks briskly he eats slowly he orders strictly he fights bravely he sits happily he blesses wholeheartedly and that is how the action words happen and these are adverbs let's see the next what adverb tells us adverbs tell us when an action takes place yes let's see a few examples again i study now lisa goes shopping today i will study later she washed clothes yesterday let's meet tomorrow adverbs tell us where an action takes place people go overseas for higher education suma used to live there please stay inside your house now you are here there's a tree nearby my home adverbs also tell us how often an action takes place they are adverb of frequency i always go shopping after work always is how often the action is done i usually watch tv on sundays suma generally sends mails he often plays cricket in the evening she is sometimes late i occasionally chuck my mails barking dogs seldom bite they rarely sing in choir the students are never bored these were the adverb of frequency adverbs also tell us how much an action is effective let's see few examples it is extremely hot this summer life is entirely different nowadays i am writing question 2 i am writing 2 here are few home assignments which you need to sit back and try to work out with this quickly take out your notebooks and write down these things write about how often the actions are done pictures are there below that there are the phrases ride bicycle brush your teeth watch tv quickly make a note of these yes the next home assignment form sentences with the help of the given pictures and adverbs the adverbs are given where would you use these adverbs and form sentences elegantly happily gently and hungrily lazily loudly make a note of these
yes. Hope you have made note of this. Fine. Let's go to another story. Uh, this is a little different. You need to read the story. As you are reading the story, you need to make a note of the words that pop in. They are very small words. Story with A and the. Yes, look into the empty story. There comes the words. Once upon a time, a monkey lived on an oak tree. One day, the monkey saw an old man with a bag. The naughty monkey snatched the bag. There were an apple, a pear, an olive and a carrot. The monkey gave the apple to a bear and the pear to an elephant. The monkey kept the olive and the carrot inside an empty box. While the monkey was sleeping, a dog stole the carrot. The monkey found only an olive to eat. Children, what are the words that popped in in this story? Yes, you are right. They were a and the. What are these a and the? You would have studied in your smaller classes and you would remember very well you had been put these words before some words. Yes, they are articles. What are articles? Let's see one by one. When to use a? A is used before a singular, a carrot, a dog, a pear, a bag. Likewise, there are many things you can use a before a singular noun. A is used before an object for the first time in your writing. As in some of the stories in the beginning, we use a monkey lived, a forest, a king, a huge tree. Next, when the things repeat, they change to the. A is used before a consonant sound. Consonant sound. B, K, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, K, R, S, T, V, W, Z, Y, Z, Sh, T. These are the consonant sounds. Here in our story, it was a monkey, a bear. Let's see when to use an. An is used before a singular and vowel sound. A, E, I, O, U. An apple, an olive, an empty box, an old man, an oak tree. A is used before silent H. An honest man, an R. When to use the? The is used before specific nouns, singular or plural. The fruits, the English class, the sun, the Himalayas. The is used before something or someone already mentioned. The apple, the olive, the bag. These were in the beginning, there was an apple, an olive, a bag. When it was repeated in the next sentence in the story, they became the apple, the olive and the bag because it was already mentioned in the beginning. The is used before a superlative degree. The best, 
the happiest the most famous now children let's view a video to learn more about articles a an and the here comes the video many english language students worry about articles and articles are one of the most difficult aspects of english in fact people may spend years studying english and still make mistakes with the and a these mistakes are also noticeable by native speakers such as your lecturers or tutors so they are likely to pick you up on these in your writing this video will give you some insight into how articles work firstly let's review the articles themselves there are only three the a and an the definite article the can be used with either singular plural or uncountable nouns while the indefinite articles a and an can be used only with singular countable nouns if you aren't sure what we mean by countable and uncountable nouns take a look at our video on that topic first when deciding which of these articles to use look at each noun in your sentence and ask yourself three questions 1 Is the noun countable or uncountable? 2. If it is countable, is the noun singular or plural? 3. Is the noun definite or indefinite? Let's examine a sentence from an article about the organization Cicada 3301. Take a moment and consider what articles, if any, you would use in each of the blanks. Let's look at each of the nouns in turn and answer our first two questions. Firstly, Cicada 3301 is a proper name, like John, Brisbane or Griffith University, and therefore it takes no article. So we do not need to consider it any further. The nouns name, organization and set are all countable and singular the nouns puzzles occasions and crypt analysts are countable and plural and the final noun public is uncountable we have now answered our first two questions about each of the nouns in this sentence for most students though the most difficult aspect of articles is whether a noun is definite or indefinite Let's consider some general guidelines. We use the definite article the in front of nouns that we think the listener or reader knows or is aware of because of the context or their own experience. Therefore, we can use the with nouns that have been previously discussed or mentioned, nouns that are unique or uniquely specified by the context or situation. with superlatives like the biggest or the worst for a system or service like the police or the fire brigade with adjectives like rich poor elderly unemployed when using the word to refer to a group of people with country names that include words like kingdom state or republic and with country names that are plural for geographical and some natural features like mountain ranges but not individual mountains and for some organizations so back to our example our third question was is the noun definite or indefinite the nouns organization set puzzles occasions and crypt analysts are all indefinite They have not been previously mentioned and they are not unique or uniquely specified. Singular indefinite nouns organization and set take the indefinite articles a and an. Plural indefinite nouns puzzles, occasions and cryptanalysts do not take any article. 
There are two definite nouns, name and public. The noun name is unique. It is the single name of this internet group. And public is an adjective that is being used to describe a group of people. These two nouns need the. So the answer is Cicada 3301 is the name given to a mysterious organisation that on three occasions has posted a set of complex puzzles to recruit capable cryptanalysts from the public. Did you get it right? In summary, if the noun is countable, singular and indefinite, you use a or an. If the noun is countable, plural and indefinite, or if it's uncountable and indefinite, there is no article. For all definite nouns, you use the article the. Remember that the flowchart will help you decide which article to use in your own writing. You can download a copy of this chart from the link below. Articles take a lot of practice, but hopefully this video has provided you with a way to approach nouns in your own writing so that you are able to decide when to use an article and which article to use. Yes, let's take up few home assignment for this articles. Quickly take down your books and pen and make a note of it. Here are some color concepts for your sake so that you can do it quickly. A is in orange, an is in blue and the is in red. You could guess and write. Here comes the fill in the blanks. There was dash cat in dash car. Write down quickly. Dash car is faster than dash bus. Yes, next. My father is dash engineer. Dash honest man works hard. Yes, children, and those were the assignments for articles. Shall we play a game? Yes, it's game time. Let's find grandpa's glasses. And here is our grandpa. Where are my glasses? Grandpa asks. And let's see. Are they on the teapot? Just check and see. Then answer, no grandpa, they are not on the teapot. Good. Are they in the box? Mm. No dear grandpa, they are not in the box. Are they under the tree? No grandpa, they are not under the tree. Are they inside the tent? No, Grandpa, they are not inside the tent. Where are Grandpa's glasses? Then where are my glasses? Oh, Grandpa, they are on your nose. Yes, children, we found out where Grandpa's glasses were. Now, what are these words? The words on, in, inside and under showed the position of a noun or a thing. They always occur before a noun or pronoun and these we call them as prepositions. Yes, let's see a little in detail. Preposition of place in the box, on the table, under the chair, near the gate, beside the road, at the door. This is about preposition of place. Preposition of time, in the morning, on Sundays, at night, before 8 o'clock, for 2 weeks, since 20 years. 
they speak about preposition of time. Preposition of direction into the class, onto the wall, towards the pool, along the road. These are preposition of direction. Here comes the home assignment. Look at the picture. Note down in your notebooks. Where is the boy lying? What is hanging on the wall? Where is the bag? What are in the wardrobe? Yes, children. And please make a note of these and please do write them in your leisure. And you will be learning more about prepositions in your higher classes. And when the regular classes start, you will be definitely coming across even more kinds of prepositions. Now, let us see the writer of the day. You know, we listened to a story, The Slave and the Lion. Hope you remember. Quite few minutes ago, we listened to this story. And it is written by George Bernard Shaw. The story name is Androcles and the Lion. Androcles and the Lion was written by George Bernard Shaw. Let us know more about him. Bernard Shaw. George Bernard Shaw, known simply as Bernard Shaw, was an Irish playwright, critic, polemicist, and political activist. His influence on Western theatre, culture, and politics extended from the 1880s to his death and beyond. He was born on 26 July 1856 at Portobello, Dublin, Ireland. Died on 2nd November 1950 at St. Lawrence, United Kingdom. His spouse, wife, Charlotte Pine Townshelt, her date of birth and death, and his education was at Wesley College. In the awards, he received Nobel Prize in Literature and more. And that is about the writer of the day. Children, these were the things for today. Let us look back again and recall what we have come across for this session. We solved the session 2 home assignment, verbs, adjectives and antonyms. Story to know about adverbs, how, when, where, how often and how effective the adverbs occur. Then about articles, ye, an and the, when they are to be used. Prepositions, prepositions of place, of time, of direction. And writer of the day, George Bernard Shaw. Yes, thank you so much children and that is all for today and this is Anita Manohari English teacher, BCLET Nasipura, Mysore district and thank you very much for staying tuned with me for this session and meet you in the next session. Till then, take care, stay home, be safe. Bye bye. Anudina, Anukshana, Kaliona Kalikeya Hosahadi Ali Jote Gudi Hitcheya Hakona Santa Sadi Kaliona Namahimi Ali Classinali